Warning, some viewers may find the video disturbing. Hello again, last time we did level 12, now it is time for level 13. Level 13 is called the apartments. Let's get straight into it. Level 13 is rated a 2 on the survival difficulty class. Bean. Unsafe. Secure. And has a minimal entity count. So to have gotten from level 11 to level 12 you had to. Run into windows. I know right. Strange. Now to get from level 12 to level 13 you have to no clip through the floor just like you did in level 8. Level 13 is seemingly an apartment building with an extremely high number of floors within each floor. There are many small residences, each with a number on the door. On every floor there is a stairway that takes you between floors. Elevators do not take you between floors they take you between levels. Meaning if you are up for the gamble, hop in one and see where you end up. You could end up back on level 0 or you could end up on one of the higher levels like 9004. In this level there is actually Wi-Fi. In some rooms there are electronics in case you didn't bring any. Keep away from clumps when entering rooms. If you want to claim a room you must go down to the lobby first. The lobby is on floor 0, and within it there will be a single face Ling attending the front desk. This face Ling is unresponsive unless you ask for an apartment. If you do, you will receive an apartment key from this entity. This key can be used to open up its respective apartment, and can allow you to have an apartment on level 13. If you are easily scared please leave now. So the first entities on the list are clumps. Clumps live in small spaces so make sure to carefully check closets and any small spaces. If you hear a clicking or a snapping sound you should run because a clump is nearby trying to get your attention. If you are within 6 feet of one don't stand there staring at it. Run. Ok so next up are windows. The windows start by pointing in the direction of the wanderer, and whispers tell the wanderers to enter the window. Once close enough, the entity will grab you, and pull you in, even if the said window is closed. It is rumored that it's just an empty void on the other side, even if it shows land on the other side. So I would stay away from any windows you see. Next up are elevators. Like I said earlier entering an elevator will not take you between floors but between levels. So if you are up for the gamble, hop in one. See where you go. Next are death moths. Only males are present here. They are just massive moths. They act the same way as the ones in the real world. These moths are not hostile. Just avoid contact with them so don't try to scare them or hit them with anything. Next are smilers. Smilers are noticeable by their glowing eyes and teeth. If you ever encounter one, stare into its eyes and try not to blink while backing away slowly and quietly. And make sure to have no light sources on you because they will chase anything that has or is a light source. Those are all the entities that inhabit level 13. They are quite rare though. Ok on to colonies. The only colony here is called BNTG. They inhabit floor 283. They will only let you in if you are a member or merchant. All entities on this floor are suppressed. They have minor trading posts. BNTG stands for Backrooms Non-Aligned Trade Group. That's just about it for level 13 overall it is quite a decent level. Wow the past 3 levels have been quite peaceful let's see if we can make that 4. Or maybe even 5. Thanks for watching stay tuned for level 14.
Peace.